What's up guys, Ryan here, and in this video we are going to be making Abe Lincoln wearing a hat. So, this is a, um, a slight change of pace from my previous couple of videos, um, which were all advanced origami. This is, this is like a five minute, well, probably going to be more than five minutes, but it's a short little tutorial um, on a nice little dollar origami model. So, um, a fan messaged me this. Her name, oh god. I'm going to say Celie Lopez. <laughs> Cele Lopez? I don't know. But um, I told her I would make a tutorial on it, so I am going to keep my word. Now, I normally don't do this kind of thing, but it was just such a like small model that had a couple tricky steps. So anyway, uh, let's do it. So um, you pro I'm, I don't think I'm going to post the diagrams anywhere. You're just going to have to rely on this video. But like the diagrams were sent to me like, picture by picture, so they're kind of hard to follow. But anyway, I'll be as specific as possible. Um, so, first step. So, um, the first step, there's going to be two reference Sorry. There's going to be two reference points. Uh, the top right corner and uh, the top left of Abraham Lincoln's forehead. Let me zoom in a little more. So the reference point is this top right corner and Avery and his forehead. I'm just going to say his and his forehead. So we're going to make a crease from here, from here going through here to about here. And this is kind of tough because it's like it gets kind of thin up here. But so let's make that. <laughs> gotta get gotta get Abe in the frame. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. And I'm just going to crease this. So this, that is the first step. Uh, next step, right, we're going to basically, okay, so we're going to fold this, um, this bottom part behind. And the reference is like just below this circle and through the middle of his beard. That's that's the reference. So let's do that. And and um, on this side, it's gonna hit the crease is gonna hit right about there. So through his beard, he's looking like that. And the bottom of the circle looks like that. And if we just continue the crease all the way over. You'll see it goes through, also goes through the top of the five like that. So this is perfect. All right, next step, um, we're going to unfold the top crease, just like halfway, kind of like that. And now this next step is kind of tough. We are going to make a mountain fold that goes, that's like, that follows the right side of these stars. That's the first fold. Um, so it starts on the left side and goes up through the right side and hits right about there. So let's make that. So I would draw on it, but I don't want to ruin this five. <laughs> All right, so this mountain fold's going to look like this. Notice how, if you can see the, I hope you can see this. Starts from the left of the stars, goes to the right. I'm, I might have made it too far to the right, actually. Something like this. But we're not done. We're, def we're definitely not done. Now, using this crease that we just made, we're going to fold this left side behind. Fold the top flap down again. Do not, do not crease this part, though, because we are going to... Um, we're going to create a new fold. We're going to create a new valley fold from this intersection point to around here. You need to use your judgment. And the judgment... Um, you basically, this corner right here, fold it flat. You see how I'm shifting it? Fold it, shift it, and then fold it flat so this corner barely pokes out, barely pokes off of the side. So now it's it's just poking off the side, so I'm gonna fold it flat. Okay. Great. Um, now this step was kind of confusing, but I, I managed to figure it out the diagrams were not good. Um, so first we are going to flip it over 
and we are going to fold from this point to around here and just so don't don't crease it down yet obvious crease down this point because there's a hard reference but we don't know where it's going yet and to judge where it's going we want this triangle to poke out of the top let me just click on the next diagram though again each diagram is its own picture so that's yeah it's so it's gonna poke out of the top like this so once um, once we have this placed see how it's not creased down yet we're gonna crease it down all as far as you can go okay okay yeah to flatten it um, we're going to just so the reference to flatten it we so we have this fold right we have this fold to, um, you 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 uh, fold this part down so that there is a very very small triangle here so I'm just gonna make it I'm just gonna do that like that exactly like that okay so that's the small triangle now we flatten this part awesome so that step was um, kind of tough I'm gonna show it one more time so I'm gonna unfold what I just did so the first the first step is to make this fold like this and the reference is this triangle poking up basically and the second fold is this fold and this fold and the reference is this little triangle showing okay and we'll end up with this we'll end up with exactly this um, next step we are going to take we're gonna take this focus come on focus camera there we go uh, we're gonna take uh, this this triangle basically and fold it behind so we're just showing his face basically I want it so there's no so there's no white space so you can make the fold uh, go through his preferably it will go through his beard there we go All right, that's much better okay like that uh, we are going to basically make a small fold through right about here, here-ish, yeah, right, right about there, and slightly unfold to the right of that fold, and keep this part folded down. So we're gonna have we're gonna have something like this. Okay, now uh, we're going to. From this intersection point, where the, the crease you just made and the top edge from that intersection point, we're going to make a crease from from that intersection point through this circle. Kind of thing. So it's going to look like that. Okay. All right. Next step, we are going to fold this. Up. We're going to fold this flap up from this point to around inside that area. Like that. Just like that. Okay, now we are going to fold along the right side of his head. this okay and you know you did it right if um, this this section is here it, re, um, this section relative just like is like how I have it relative to where the hat is um, so the bottom edge is near this corner and the top edge it's like this basically just try to it, it's important that this is facing up because like you could have made it like this right facing to the side but that's not good so it's it's important that it's facing up like this because the next step you're going to wrap the top of the hat um, actually I, I had it too low I gotta make it up more I believe but yeah the next step is wrapping the top of the hat around around like this
Okay. And now, two more easy steps. Just fold this right side over. Right about there. And fold the top down as far as you want. And there it is, guys. Abraham Lincoln with a hat. Now let me just help you. Um, so turn it over. Now this can be tucked into this right here. So watch what I'm doing. This is not, I just made this part up, but it's, it helps it, it helps the model stay together. So um, yeah, see how I just tucked it in there like that. And this, if it's, so this flap, if it's not already under, um, you can you can tuck this flap under there but there you go guys this is uh, Abraham Lincoln Lincoln wearing a hat and there's this one too um, the the diagrams I, I will try my best to post them somehow but <laughs> they were they were pretty rough but here it is. So you, you can do whatever variation you want. You can fold the hat bigger or smaller. You can give you can probably give them a top hat if you're, if you're clever enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any tutorial suggestions. Check out my Facebook page if you want. There's a lot of info there. And if you want to support me, uh, a great way is to go to my Patreon page. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.